Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hi, my name is Amy and I'm a real estate agent in the Houston area, but I've been uploading days in the life and kind of like life st lifestyle videos for you guys on my channel. So it's not all real estate, but it kind of goes with my life in real estate as well. So today I am gonna be vlogging um, a what's in my bag kind of video and kind of reviewing this tote bag that I got and also just a little chit chat and cleaning out my purse and reorganizing it. Um, just to throw it out there, my purse is an actual mess right now. So you guys get to see literally what's in my purse. It's not like a staged video where I like get my purse all pretty and then show you guys how cute it is. Literally it's a mess, but I'm just gonna show you how much fits in this bag. You guys are new don't forget to subscribe and join the amy rivas family and don't forget to turn on that bell button right next to the subscribe button that way you guys get notified every time i upload a new video i do try to post every tuesday and thursday so you guys probably saw that i was slacking for the past two weeks but i was busy taking care of business sometimes i gotta pause youtube or pause being on social media to literally focus on work or certain things we all know social media can be a distraction but i am coming back with some more videos and hopefully going to be doing vlogmas this year so anyways let's get started with this video so the purse that i have right now is the tote bag um by mark jacobs it's a cute little bag it's a tote it's actually the small size it comes with this little strap and it's super convenient so I used to have the Louis Vuitton Never Fool and that was like my work bag, but um, it got stolen. If you guys want to hear the whole drama on how my purse got stolen, um, it is on my life update video. Um, if you guys want to go check that out after this video, feel free to get all the gossip on the bag. But point is, um, just the day before I took my bag to San Antonio, I had gotten this one in the mail, but I did not want to use it because it was new. And I'm so weird about like my new stuff. I'm like, I'm not ready to wear it, blah, blah, blah. And then I don't wear it. So luckily I had my new work bag that I was super hyped about. I had seen so many TikToks and reviews on this bag and how like cute it was. Like law students had it, like just like law students, uh, med students, whatever. All students had it. And it was just very convenient and very cute and very fashionable. So I was like, let me hop on this trend because... I love totes and honestly, I was not down to splurge $1,500 or more on a bag right now. You know, I can't be spending money like that um, yet, but of course I have, but those are just like little rewards or treats for myself from a huge milestone. So I can't just go and buy a bag whenever I want. So this one's more on the affordable side. It was under $200, which I think is a really good deal for the bag. The material is very strong. Even the outside, I literally was about to go return it. You guys can see a little bit of blue, but then I read the Neiman Marcus return policy and it was just kind of like if you took it out the bag or took off the tags and you couldn't wear it, like you can't return it. But anyways, it did get a little stained from my jeans. I think that's the only bad thing about this color, but honestly, I've kept wearing it and that's as stained as it got, which I think is pretty good. Um, and just to throw it out there, like, I don't take care of my stuff, like, really, like, nothing, like, I really don't take care of things. I'm very, um, I'm, like, a very, I don't know what to say, how to say it, like, I just don't even, like, pay attention to things sometimes, like, um, so, yeah, like, it's not like I'm, like, oh, my stuff, my bag, my shoes, oh, I can't step on this, or I can't, like, wear jeans, or, you know, like, I'm just kind of, like, okay, I gotta go give me give me my bag so literally let's go in to what i have in my bag so this is what my bag looks like right now this is what it has it has a lot of stuff i'm gonna record another little video so i can show you guys what it actually has inside um right now because it's super messy but i want you guys to like literally see the mess that is in here All right, so let me start taking out everything that I have. You guys are gonna be surprised on the amount of things that I do have. I got something in the mail and I threw this in my bag because I sent it to my boyfriend's house. So um, there's that. 
Um, I have my Ray-Bans case in here. These are have been my like daily sunnies. Um, I have earrings that I was wearing the other day. I have my car keys with my AirPods in there. Um, I have this Morphe lip gloss, or it's a lipstick. It's called Taunt. It's really cute. Um, I have a debit card just thrown around. So also when they stole my purse, they stole my whole wallet. So I don't have like a card holder right now. So it really sucks. So I've just been throwing stuff all over. I also have my iPad in there, which needs to be cleaned because it is stained. I don't know what I got on there. So the iPad was in there as well. <coughs> this notebook. I had that in there because I was like taking notes on things. Found some dollars. Dollars, receipts. Receipts, receipts, like just literally nothing but receipts. So I'm just gonna stack my receipts. I keep a lot of my receipts because when you're self-employed, you need to have proof of what you spend your money on. And if it was work-related, then you need to keep your receipts. So a lot of the time, for most part, a lot of the food that I buy, it's because I'm on the go working. Um, so it's like, even if I pack my lunch, like I'm not gonna be stopping at the gas station to heat it up. So just... Um, nothing but receipts, really. Let me take out all the receipts. Oh, Banana Republic gift card, business card. Um, I think that gift card's empty. So let me go ahead and take out all the receipts. Oh, I have a Target gift card. I need a, I need that one. More receipts. I have my um, iPad charger. This is the price tag, actually. It's in my purse. So it was actually suggested retail detail um, $175, so under $200. Um, I'm going to link them. My sister actually has a black one. This case from my Tory Burch, like the pouch from my Tory Burch earrings. Some hand sanitizer, a cool pen. Um, why do I have a Tory Burch gift receipt? Oh, because it was from the earrings I found. Oh no, these were just the same dollars. Some more dollars, some more dollars. A cookie. You guys, I'm a mess. A cookie from McAllister's. Then I found a pencil and a two more Morphe um, lip glosses. Well, this one's a lip gloss, it's called Chill. And then this one is the Hot Shot. This one's, I think, the more orangey one, but I wore it for Halloween and I was supposed to wear the red one. And I have some lash glue, my iPad pen, two chongos. I have this tape. I don't know where this tape came from, honestly. It's weird. Highlighter, another pen. My ID, we need that. I seriously need to find a good card holder. My debit card, some dollars. Oh, I need to charge these AirPods. More business cards. More receipts, coupons, literally like a trash of things to clean my glasses, chopstick. Well, here are my AirPods. I need to charge these pups. And then a whole bunch of change that I have in here. I need to put in my piggy bank. So I need to get a wallet, you guys, like urgently. Maybe I can go get one. I really shouldn't be spending money on luxury things, but like they're the only things that I feel are durable. Um, but I, and I actually wear them for like long periods of time. Oh, I need to go get a wallet, like a card holder. Card holders change my life, you guys. I just stay super organized. But I had all this change in there as well. So literally, this is like the bag that does not stop giving because it's like literally so many things in it. So let me organize it. All right.
So basically, it is officially empty. I'm going to show you guys that it's empty now. So literally five minutes later, I finally took out everything in the bag. I'm going to go ahead now and organize everything in it and then just show you guys what the end result looks like when the purse is actually really organized. But aside from that, it's super cute. This is how I usually carry it. If I am walking around town, I literally hang it across like I'm at the store or something. Hang it across. Or if I have a lot of bags that I'm carrying, I literally put it across so I'm not like struggling like with so many things on my arm so it's really good it's really cute and it's very convenient and i get so many compliments on this bag every time i go out so i'm gonna go ahead organize it and show you guys what it actually looks like when it's really cute and nice and organized and clean <laughs> All right, you guys, all done. Are y'all ready to see the final results? All right, let me show you guys. All right, so the bag is now clean and clear and under control. Oh no. So I always have my iPad in my, oh, what's going on here? I always have my iPad in my bag along with my journal. Um, I like to take notes, somebody's talking, whatever. I have my notebook there. Then I have my little wallet. I actually have this one in my closet. So I went and grabbed it and I was like, I need something to put my cards in because I'm not on my mess. Um, Sunnies. And then we have the car keys here. Um, I left one of my favorite duos, which is um, this lipstick along with the lip gloss. Then we need some hand sanitizer. And then I left a pen and a pencil here for my notebook and something to clean my glasses. So... <laughs> It is much better looking than it was earlier, but it's also very lightweight as well at this point. And I have the essentials here. Oh, little pillow right there. So anyways, you guys, I am going to go right ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my bag review. Really enjoy it. I highly recommend if you are a person that's always on the go and you need your notebooks, you need your laptop, even your laptop fits in here. Let me show you guys actually. So this is my laptop and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. So it's really good for traveling as well. Like I have the, the laptop, the notebook and the iPad in here and there is still room. Let me see, let me show you. You guys, there's still freaking room in here and you can close it. So like the zipper kind of like spreads out and it still closes. Obviously it's a little bit heavier, but I think it's pretty convenient. I'm always on the go. And at the end of the day, like I said, like you can have a nice bag, but you can also have a nice bag like on a budget. Because anyways, things get lost or stolen or, you know, worn in, like there's a lot of wear and tear, but yeah, this is the, or like my go-to everyday bag right now. Um, if you guys know of any other bags that you guys highly recommend and would like me to do a review, if you are a businesswoman, a student, whatever it is, please comment down below. Um, I'll be more than happy to check it out and actually wear the bag for some time and then be able to write a review. I mean, or film a review so you guys know my honest opinion on it. But highly recommend. We'll be linking it down below if you guys want to check it out. But anyways, you guys, I'll catch you all later. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.